not just having to be in the game. That's the most important thing, just making sure that we're winning. And uh, just, I wanted to be aggressive. I didn't want to settle for a jump shot. And uh, I was able to get in the lane. Brandon, you weren't able to put one in until until that basket. Did you feel confident with the ball in your hands? Or? Yeah, you know, as a, as a you know, player that works in this game a lot, I just felt confident, you know, uh, no matter what the situation is, you know, finishing the game or whatnot, even though I have missed, you know, all my shots up to that point. Brandon, was that designed for you? Was that for you? Uh, it was just pick and roll and see what we can get out of it. And, uh, you know, Darius had been hot, and uh, I kind of feel like they kind of shaded to him a little bit, so I just took it. Were you surprised at, at how this game went? Oh uh, no, I wasn't surprised. I knew they were gonna fight, you know, fight for the, you know, fight for their lives, and they're a great team. And uh, they came out and battled us, you know, to the end. So talk about how tough of a game overall it was for you. Oh, uh, it was tough as far as shooting, but you know, uh, as far as the other aspect, you just gotta make sure you affect the game in different ways. So. Were you, were you even aware you hadn't made a shot all day until Brandon? Uh, not not really. I wasn't really focusing on it, and uh, I was just trying to focus on making sure I ran the team, trying to get a win. That's what's important. Thing. When you're struggling. Like that, how are you able to maintain your focus and not get down on yourself? Oh, just knowing that you know, your team needs you, you know, so you can't get down on yourself and not play. You got to continue to play hard and make sure you, you, know, you keep your teammates in tune, keeping their enthusiasm up and stuff like that. Brandon, when you're not playing well offensively, does it give you some confidence that they give you the ball in that situation and let you make a decision with it? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I know the coach has a, you know faith in me, no matter you know what, how much time is on the clock, you know, and in the game, starting the game. So you know, it just uh, lets me know the coach got faith in me. At what point did the floor kind of open up for you and you were like, oh, yeah, here we go? Well, when I saw I had a bigger guy on me, um, you know, I thought he'd probably have a good chance contesting. So, like I said, I just wanted to try to get by him, see if I could try to finish running out. Talk about being able to get a win like this when you, Deron, and, and Terrence really don't play well at all. Uh, it's big time. It just shows that, you know, the rest of our team can step up. Uh, Josh played a great game. Darius played a great game. And Hila came off the bench and gave us a lot of good minutes. So, it just shows that uh, the rest of our team can step up and make plays. Brandon, there were times, whether it was what they were doing defensively or, or some things you guys weren't doing more, it seemed a little tense, a little uncertain offensively. Did you guys feel any, any tension, any nervousness? Uh, not really. I thought we played well offensively. I think Coach said we shot 54% in the first half. So um, I don't think it was that. I think it was more so defense, just uh, had a couple breakdowns on defense. Like I said, they played great, ran their stuff, and executed, and they, they hustled really hard. Were you surprised to be in a game like that with them? Uh, not at all. You know, We knew they were going to come out and fight uh, from the beginning to the end. They made some shots at the end. It looked like DeAndre had, had played great defense on two guys, and they make tough shots. Is that just one of those things that happens this time of year? Again? Yeah, that just happens sometimes. You know, uh, those guys made a lot of big time plays, big time tough shots uh, at the end of the towards the end of the game, and uh, it kept a minute. Do you find a point in the game where you guys? especially the young guys pressing maybe? Uh, not really. Um, like I said, shots just weren't falling today. And uh, I don't think we really pressing. We just wanted to make sure that we tried to win this game. I know you've already answered this, but to have no points the whole game in that final shot, what is it like to hit that shot to send you guys to the next round? Oh, uh, it felt good just to make sure that we won. Uh, won. You know, uh, with two seconds left, we just wanted to make sure they didn't, you know, get a shot off. But it felt good to, uh, you know, finally get that shot to go. Can you You've had some class with their performance tonight? Yeah, they, they all played great. Uh, Darius played great, you know, hit a lot of big time shots. Uh, Josh got a lot of rebounds, had a lot of finishes around the rim, and uh, Eloy came in and provided us with a lot of good minutes, so uh, they did a great job, and De uh, DeAndre did a good job. On defense. So what you got about your big guy, is there any thought at all that you were going to dish it off, or was it your mm, No, once I got by him, I just wanted to make sure I got up high off the glass and uh, had a chance to you know go in or get a rebound. Randy, you've missed some jumpers with, with the you know chance to win games. Did you want to did you set out to not settle in that situation? Yeah, I didn't want to settle in that situation. Uh, like I said, I had a bigger guy on me, so I thought I had a good chance of going by him. And I uh, just want to make sure I put it off the glass. Can you remember at Hever, there's any time where you've gone into the last minute of the game, not in the scores anymore? Oh, uh, not really. Um, I, I can't really remember what's happening. What do you plan on taking?